Feels like time is going faster than it seems. Ladies, welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is doing well and a happy new year to everybody. Hope you got your resolutions ready and are working on them for 2019. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to pop up here just for a little bit to talk to you about this amazing, amazing thing that I recently found and I'm so so glad that I found this item because it has made my life so much easier and I'm talking about these little amazing buckles right here the adjustable buckles and I'm going to go into a little bit more details about this so as you can tell from the title already these little guys right here is going to help me adjust my Chanel handbag or the chain on my Chanel handbags and I okay so let's go back a little bit a couple of season ago maybe a year and a half now I believe I got my my Chanel Business Affinity flap and I already shown you the review and the unboxing of that bag back then I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it anyways fast forward I love that bag it is so so nice however I was debating whether I should keep it or I should um, actually sell it to get another one in a smaller size the reason why I was deciding between selling it and getting another size not because the bag is too big I love the size it's very practical and it carries so many many things that I need throughout the day however for anybody that owns the Chanel business affinity in size large knows what I'm talking about the chain on the bag is so so long and I was debating too for a while that I was going to bring it into a shop to have some of the links taken out so that the strap would become shorter so I can have a better fit on my body it's a great bag as a top handle where you carry it however when I wear it on my frame and the chains makes the bag hang so low that I don't like the way it looks on my body so I never wear it that way crossbody maybe it will look okay but for that size it's so big that when you wear crossbody it just doesn't look as nice if you have the small size or the mini size in the business affinity I think that the um, crossbody option will be a lot nicer on a petite frame but for the large size I just don't think it's very practical to wear it as a crossbody so these little babies here are so amazing they have saved Saved me a lot of money and they have created more options for my handbags so I'm going to show you in a little bit to what it looks like when I put these on and how I wear it on my body and how it shortens the length and just adjust the uh, chain straps on my bags and it comes in this construction right here and I bet you're thinking oh my gosh how does this work so basically it looks like this with two hooks on the side and if you can see from up here I don't know if you can see on the camera it has two little tiny opening right there so it's not completely enclosed on both sides it's enclosed down here but on top it has just a tiny bit of hair space right there between the two um, hooks like so and how you use this is basically you just push this little metal bar in the middle up like so and one side you're gonna hook the uh, so one side you're gonna hook the chain and then the other side you hook it to another chain to kind of uh, tighten them or grasp them connect them together and so then you would push this middle bar right here push it back in place and then it will connect both of the chain straps together in place so that you can shorten the straps okie dokie so this is my chanel business affinity flap this is no stranger to this channel i've already introduced her already like i said and so now i'm going to show you how i make the straps shorter this is what the straps look like and it is extremely long on my body like i said so what I'm going to do is it's kind of difficult with this bag because it's not a um, it doesn't have two 
grommets hole on the top right here where you can slide the double chain so that it can shorten or lengthen whether you like to wear crossbody, shoulder straps, or shoulder bag. Uh, like the classic flap does it just has one grommet right here and these chains are not interchangeable or they are not uh, adjustable or you can take them apart basically it's tighten onto there and it's attached onto the grommet itself you can't take these off or anything like so so that's why it's a little bit difficult to uh, kind of shorten the chains on this bag so what I'm going to do is on this side right here, I'm going to cross it over to this side like so. And so my chain is going to lay like this on top of the handle. And I'm going to connect this chain right here to the hook on this other side right there. Okay. So I'm going to take my little grommet and i'm going to push it out like so so now this is what it looks like so the two hooks are open like there and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to slide one of the hook onto this chain on the other side and then hook it onto the hook spot so then now this is what it looks like see it attached this hook right here attaches this chain to this hook right here so that you can tighten and attach it and connect them like this so I'm gonna do the same to the other side so now using the second hook I'm going to do the same to the other side and I'm gonna try to make sure I grab the right notch so now that I hooked both chains onto each side of the hook this is what it looks like on top so i lay them uh, kind of crisscross across my handle on top right here and the hooks on one side goes on this chain connecting to this hook and then the hook on the other side is right here it goes from this chain connected to that hook and then now my bag has shortened like so so isn't this so neat and easy now I have to tell you I was a little bit skeptical at first because I wasn't sure how the hook is going to hold on to the uh, chain and if it is going to hold the back or the chains together whenever I carry more things in the bag. I did find that if I carry a decent amount of things in here and does not carry too too much where it weighs the back down then the hook is pretty decent decent it keeps in place and it holds the chain together very nicely throughout the day so i guess what i'm trying to say is that if you are not carrying a ton of things in this bag which weighs it down the hook is pretty decent in keeping the chains together because it's not completely closed the hook itself has a I guess some um, the closure is a little bit tight but I feel like it's not super super tight where if it is hitting the chains a lot the middle part can come apart and then the chain will slide out of the hook so um, I did find that that's one fault of the bag however most of the other times where I'm not carrying or making this bag really heavy carry daily things like my phone, uh, wallet, uh, lip gloss, my iPad mini, um, an agenda in there it was fine um, I was walking around and it was doing fine the whole day so that's one thing that I wanted to mention and the thing that I appreciate so much about these hooks is that it does not cause a lot of damage to the chain and the bag itself it's very thin and it's very minimal so when you're looking at the bag you really don't see the hook unless I point it out to you or unless you're really staring at it and also I did uh, kind of feel like this chain up here is a little bulky however it does save a lot of money and probably in the long run a lot better for resale value because I didn't have to pay money to get the links taken off and then if I get the links taken off on the bag of course it alters the bag uh, the original um, 
aesthetic of the bag and definitely will lose a lot of money if I resell this bag later so I'm glad that I found this option so those hooks themselves does not only work on my business affinity but it works on my Chanel jumbo bag as well and so I will show you um, what I'm talking about recently I've been wearing this bag in two ways so I actually shorten the chain or tie the chain together inside this bag so that I can have it as a short handle like so and then I can also have it with this longer handle in the back where I can wear it on my shoulders and it hits really nice on to, uh, when it falls or drop onto my body so I've been really loving the way I um, got these two straps going right here of course you can just wear it traditionally where you let the two chain um, falls through the grommets and then it becomes like an equal chain so that you can wear it as a shoulder uh, option however when you wear it that way you can't really um, wear it as a well I guess you can you can <laughs> wear it as a single chain however when I wear the single chain the Chanel Jumbo definitely falls really long on me just because I'm so petite so if you are 5'4 and below, I definitely recommend the way um, I wear this right now because I feel like it hangs really nicely on the body. So I'm going to show you before I have those hooks, this is what I've been doing. Okay, so <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside of my bag. I have this little rubber band right here because I actually uh, pulled the two straps together on the inside. and. Sorry, I thought my phone was on silent. Anyway, so um, this is what I've been doing. So <laughs> it does look a little raggedy because of the uh, rubber bands right here. I could have gotten a black color rubber band or maybe something more like a gold rubber band to match the gold hardware. But I just took whatever I had because it was the most convenient. So this is what I did to achieve that. Um, so yes, it looks kind of tacky, however it did the job. And so those are the ways that I usually like to wear the back, uh, the Chanel jumper recently. So now I'm going to show you what the hooks does to the Chanel jumper, where you can do the same thing. Okay, so I have my X-Acto knife here. Let's be really careful. And I'm going to cut the rubber band off. Okay, now that the rubber band is off, I'm going to link these two chains together right here. So what I basically did is I just pulled the two uh, straps through on the two holes right there like so. And then I'm going to put one hook on here. And then I'll hook the other one on here. And then I'll do this. So this is what it looks like at the moment, like so. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pull them through. And so this is what it's going to look like on the inside. So as you can see, it looks a lot nicer. No more raggedy blue color <laughs> rubber band. Um, so what I'll do is I'll close it. And then, ta-da! So now you can also wear it the same way as before, like so. Alright, so yeah, that is how you shorten the Chanel chain. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to use the clasps to adjust the length of these uh, Chanel chains right here. However, these are the ways that I like to wear my Chanel Jumbo lately, so that is what I did to it. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope for those who are looking for a chain shortener, this is going to be helpful to you because it is a lifesaver to me and I'm really, really happy that I found out about it. Um, actually, one day I just was thinking about it. Like I said, I wanted to take it, uh, my business affinity to a shop to have it shorten the length and I call and ask my SA at Chanel and she says that might not be the best thing to do because um, it is going to devalue my bag so then I went online and just typed in Google change shortener and 
this was one of the options that popped up and I'm really really glad that I gave it a try I went on Amazon and I got it prime two-day shipping so yes that's the uh, way that I found out about it so hopefully this is helpful to you for those who are looking to shorten their chain straps like me try it out you might love it just like I do so I'm going to link it in the description bar down below if you're looking for it or interested in it. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! It feels like time is going faster than it seems We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream We could see no reason but we should ever try